Let's see if this works. Hello. Hi. Hello. Welcome to Manish Gem Diaries on YouTube. I, as many of you know, had a YouTube channel once, Vlogs by Manya. I used to post on YouTube all the time. And then I decided to delete it like a really weird thing that happened at my undergrad. So if you remember me from my Drew University vlogs, um, shout out to you. Go on about it a bit later, maybe in this vlog, why I stopped my YouTube channel. And um, I'm back, kind of, I guess. I made a commitment to myself that in 2022, I want to be more creative and I want to explore different creative outlets such as starting up my YouTube channel again and being more active on social media, being more active through other um, channels such as a potential podcast because honestly, I feel a little burnt out from my nine to five and I hope that this will help me. I feel more, you know, feel that my brain is working. Anyway, I think you can hear the vacuum outside. I swear in the building I live in, they vacuum and clean the carpeted floors every single weekday. I don't know why. I feel like there's always sound outside of my apartment door, but it's okay. What I was saying is I want to be more creative. I feel very burnt out by my nine to five job. Those of you who are new here, I live in Washington, DC. I work for a think tank slash NGO and um, I finished my master's in May of 2021. And now I'm just a regular nine to five girl. That's all I do is work. This is my way of being more creative in the new year. I love editing. I miss it. I want to learn new things and uh, you enjoy it. And I hope you stick around. This is real. This is me. Like three day old hair, like a, a turtleneck, some hot tea, some vacuum going on on the outside. And um, I hope you join me for the ride going under my door. That is weird. Focus on lifestyle, um, what it's like to live in DC. Just things you would expect from someone like me. Why I stopped YouTube in college. Let's go. To the United States and decided to continue vlogging because I would be moving to a new university, moving to America, going to typical college campus and I was gonna vlog my experience while that was successful and I was reaching like tens of thousands of views on on my previous channel and previous videos of like college campus tours like dorm room tour um, first time in New York like those type of things I loved vlogging um, there were two reasons which I maybe three reasons which I decided to quit I was made fun of in college and high school for trying to pursue YouTube so that really hurt my confidence self-esteem and I would feel embarrassed to share my vlogs and share them on social media that I had like high school people from or college people on so I was just like really unmotivated by the fact that people were making fun of me so that was the one reason now it's so messy it made me want to stop vlogging because at some point, um, there was an instance where some visiting professor came to the college that I was at and decided to use screenshots and videos from my video, uh, from videos I posted onto YouTube, uh, and show it to like an incoming freshman class. And in that video, I would be describing like my experience on campus, and I had no idea who that visiting professor was why he was using my videos in his presentation and why he was like showing it on a ginormous projector. I found out through my boyfriend's friends who like took videos of it. And that like really freaked me out. The fact that a stranger was kind of using my content at my school to show others without really, I, and I knew I put that stuff out there to, you know, publicly. So it's not like I, you know, he stole my content. It's just, it felt weird and felt like a weird invasion of my privacy that he was 
showing things on a big screen to people at my school at a school that I went to and it just felt like he was saying like, like this is Manya she goes to school here and this is like her tour of her room and and the college campus that just felt really weird to me so that freaked me out and I think a week later I went to my YouTube channel and I deleted all of my videos which looking back at it now kind of regret it because I had so much content on there and I could have just like kept it and then just revisited the idea but so levy I guess um, I lost a little bit of my passion or I guess motivation why should I be recording videos nobody cares about my life nobody cares what I think I have stripes on myself nobody cares what I'm doing why am I posting about my life but then moving to DC Spending a lot of my nights and my days just having YouTube videos on and seeing people do daily routine things and like morning routines and week in my life and days in my life, it just motivated me because I was thinking, there must be like hundreds of thousands of different people who like to watch quote unquote boring content. I'm sorry if you can hear my neighbors again. And I'm one of those people. I like to put on a YouTube video. I don't necessarily pay attention to like 100% of the video, but I like to have it on in the background because it's comforting for me to see what other people are doing in their day-to-day -day lives. And it may sound, sound like this crazy phenomenon, but I realized that, you know, maybe I think what I'm doing is boring and maybe I think that nobody cares, but in reality, so many people just enjoy watching like day in my life videos, week in my life videos, and that I think is something that I want to be a part of. So, I'm starting this channel, and I'm going to be committed to it. I hope that this camera is going to last. I've been thinking of getting like the G7X, but I'm gonna get disciplined first in this routine, then potentially invest in a new camera. But that's why, you know, I finished YouTube in 2016 or 17 or 18 and this is why I'm starting again so thank you for being here and that's it that's all this video is gonna be that's all I'm gonna do I'm testing this out bear with me I'm going to try and find my style that I like of vlogging and um, I hope it goes well and I hope you believe in me as much as I believe in myself 